welcome to my channel. Good morning, Vita. Yes, um, well, you probably be seeing this in the afternoon, but regardless, this is my Vita Sunday questions. I decided since I am doing Vita, which is video every day in August, I was gonna do questions on Sunday. So I asked you guys to submit questions um, before Thursday and I got quite a few of them. So this is the video of me explaining those questions that you guys wanted to know about me. So let's just get to it and hopefully you guys like this sort of format and for the next four Sundays in August I will do them. If I have an overwhelming enjoyment of this type of video. I will probably continue them or add them into maybe my Know Me Mondays. I'm not exactly sure at this point, but let's see how it goes. So I got a couple questions from Veronica, who is a viewer, a subscriber, watcher. Thank you, Veronica, for submitting your questions. And I really always enjoy your comments that you give to me. So your questions were, your first question was, what is my favorite band or give my top five because yeah picking a favorite band or group is really hard so I'll have to start off with these are in no particular order because I have different moods that I go through so there's different times that I'm like oh I want to listen to this guy or I want to listen to that guy so I'll give you five of my favorite ones so the first one I'm gonna go with is Ed Sheeran I can listen to Ed Sheeran like any day all day I love me some Ed Sheeran love 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 the next one i'm gonna go with is maroon 5 and i love maroon 5 because of course adam levine but he's so lovely to look at yes he is um but also i love their style of music i listen to i have listened to them since probably the beginning when they started out with songs for jane and i've just grown with them and really enjoyed their whole sort of funk style and you know their storytelling of music and then it's also fun and I love it I love it love it love it then the next one I'm gonna go with is Adele because I just love all of the emotion that she gives in all of her music and some of her music and the lyrics really just seeps off the page and just ugh, makes you feel makes you feel so good Yes, it does. So those are going to be my picks. Ed Sheeran, Adele, Maroon 5. Yes, those are my like go-to groups. Then your next question is, what's my favorite color? So this is like ever-changing because I really love the color blue and any shades of blue. But at the same time, my birth color or color that represents me are yellows and oranges and reds. Yes, because I am a fire sign, and so, see, I have Leo right here, and he has all my favorite colors um, to go with my sign, and lots of people say that I look really good when I wear yellow, like, close to my face, I, like, glow, and yeah, so this whole yellow, reds, orange definitely kind of suit me, I think. And Veronica's last question is, what is my favorite food? And by far, if I can find a good Chinese food place, ugh, I am so about some non-spicy General Souls chicken. Yum. I just absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So the next questions come from from me to you video photography and book reviews and I do know that this is a new subscriber and she has given me some pointers so thank you very much I greatly appreciate those little tips that you have given me and I love our conversations on in the comments for my videos thank you for watching so her first question is have you always been a reader or liked to read and I admittedly no <laughs> no not in the least I mean I didn't read I actually hated reading during like high school and growing up and things like that it was just not something that I did well um I was mostly into music and everything like that so no it just never really you know went with me I was just not a reader now when I got through with my degrees later on in life actually about six years ago now um well five years ago 
I started to read. I was working the night shift and I went ahead and picked up Fifty Shades of Grey. And that was absolutely the turner of all turners. And once I did that, I got, my husband had gotten my Kindle for me and I got Fifty Shades of Grey. I ran through that one and I just started reading, 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 reading. And now five years, six years later, I've read over 700 books and I don't see myself stopping. I am, yes, I love to read now. Love to read. Then the next question she gave me was, do you have a favorite trope or genre? So first of all, of course, I absolutely love romance and not just the traditional sense of romance books. I don't necessarily have to have a happy ending at the end of the book. I do like to see how couples go on a journey and if they end up together, that's amazing. If they don't end up together, I kind of do get a little upset, but I don't take that out on the author at any point because if the journey is amazing and the ending is fitting, then I am happy with how a romance can end on a sad or disappointing note with the couple not necessarily being together. The next question I got was a new viewer who is Dimple the Page. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for submitting your question. So your question is, does my husband or my son like to read? <sighs> so my husband actually hates to read. Um, he would rather watch a history show channel or a National Geographic channel or something of that note than to actually pick up a book and read about that history or anything like that. My son, on the other hand, I can proudly say when I started to sort of put myself on a book buying band or wanted to go more mainstream and didn't want to spend a lot of money on books that I quite possibly didn't like, I started going to the library. By taking him to the library, he is now more comfortable with reading and I love that he's now picking up and is asking for books and granted some of them are more um I wouldn't say graphic novels because they're kid age or um not even middle grade but like elementary age uh comic books but they have started him in reading and he'll sit down and he'll read one and he'll read it over and over and over again and I love that so hopefully that can be the turn for him in his reading and getting more proficient at it and now he can become a reader like I am then finally my last question is from Sarah thank you Sarah for watching and joining me uh, thank you for submitting your question as well I hope you enjoy what you have found on the channel and her question is what is the deal with my University of Michigan stuff in my background so good eye Sarah very good eye well this these are only two of the things that I have down here from the University of Michigan and my obsession with the University of Michigan is that I grew up in Ann Arbor. I am a legitimate big time University of Michigan football fan and I grew up there. I went to high school right in the city of Ann Arbor. I absolutely love the maize and blue and even though I have been away from home from the city of Ann Arbor haven't lived there for about 20 years I am a die-hard fan when football season comes along I am all about my University of Michigan watching my football team good years bad years regardless good games bad games I love University of Michigan football and I have a clock that is from the University of Michigan um, I'm trying to convince my husband to get me a big house, sort of large photograph. Um, I have jewelry from the University of Michigan or that has the University of Michigan theme to it. So I'll post some of those pictures. Hopefully you're seeing those um, up there so you guys can see my sort of collection. I have jerseys from the University of Michigan. I love the University of Michigan. So that is why I have that University of Michigan paraphernalia in my background because I absolutely love the maize and blue. Let's go blue! Yes! Always. So, did you guys like this video? Did you like the setup? Did you like finding out a little bit more about me? Let me know down in the comments. 
if you have questions for me for next week's Sunday questions, let me know by Thursday in this video. I will answer those questions then. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can let me know how I did or what I need to improve on. I started a Goodreads group. Please go check that out. And thank you for watching and we will see you guys tomorrow.